What's good, YouTube? Welcome to Trendy Topics, where we discuss the latest in hip-hop and gossip. So Boozy did an interview with DJ Vlad, and I guess DJ Vlad wanted to ask Boozy his opinion on Tekashi 6 9 working with Nicki Minaj, right? And even though it's been a while since that song with Tekashi and Nicki Minaj came out, trolls, but I guess, you know, Boozy's just been asked a question about it. And Boozy disrespected Nicki Minaj. You know, he said that she has no remorse for the black community. I'm going to bring it up on the screen exactly what Boozy said. So like I said, guys, DJ Vlad asked Boozy about Nicki Minaj and the Tekashi situation. And he said, it shows that she has a lack of character. It shows that you would do anything for money and success. That's how I look at it. She doesn't have to do it. She's rich as F. I feel like she shitted on the ghetto community, all African-American people. She knows what the F I'm talking about. He also went on to say, Nicki Minaj might not have a heart. She might not have a heart for what this guy did to people. So basically, um, Boozy is calling out Nicki Minaj for working with Tekashi 6 9 And to be honest, I even think that Nicki Minaj would work with Tekashi again. I think they have a good bonding relationship. And I think that she feels more, you know, like Tekashi was betrayed. You know, I'm just saying that I believe that she takes his side over all the persons who he snitch on. Uh, or maybe it's just business for her. Maybe she don't care about that part of the business. She just wants that bread. And in some cases, you definitely can't blame her because I'm pretty sure that Tekashi paid her good for that track chose. And it's not the first time where Nicki Minaj have worked with Tekashi. So it kind of makes the relationship even stronger. Even though the first song, I believe it's called Fifi, um, Tekashi wasn't known as a snitch at that time. So y'all know that kind of changed the whole dynamic of the situation. Some persons who would have worked with him in the past, it, you know, they don't want to work with him now. They don't want to see him. They don't want to be associated with Tekashi 6 9 So I guess Boozy is calling Nicki Minaj out this time for working with him because of the whole snitching situation. And we all know that Boozy is the type of person that speaks how he feels. He doesn't keep anything back. If he doesn't like you, he's going to tell you. And I definitely, like I always said, I respect that about someone who keeps it real rather than being a fake. So Boozy definitely get a thumbs up from me. But at the end of the day, I'm not sure how Nicki Minaj will feel about this. You know, I'm not even sure if she's going to address it, but I'm pretty sure that she will see it because it's all on the Internet. So we'll just have to wait and see how this situation work out. And since we're on the topic of Tekashi 6 9 there's a video of Tekashi riding the train in New York. And I mean, this situation is really sad because Tekashi, he might take this stuff for fun or for joke or whatever, but it's actually pretty serious and it's actually sad at the same time. You have to be walking around with like 10, 20, 30 security, which makes absolutely no sense. You know, I'm not sure if he's trying to feel normal or if he's just doing this as a troll or whatever reason it may be. But I'm going to play the video and you guys can let me know how y'all feel about this. So check this out. So do you think that Tekashi is a real gangster for walking around with security? Because obviously he feels like he's a gangster. Well, he must feel like that. But then again, as I said, maybe he's just doing this to troll persons. You know, a lot of persons, well, you know, they want to catch 6 9 I'm pretty sure of it. Obviously, the persons who we snitch on, they have families, they have friends and all that ish. But do you think that Tekashi will be caught lacking one day? Or do you think that he will have to carry security even if he's going to take a ish? He's going to have to walk with the security. All right, maybe not if he's going to take a ish, but I mean, you know, he's going to definitely have to keep security on him if he's going anywhere outside because... You know, not everyone who pretends to be a fan is definitely a fan. Someone will pretend to want to hug him up, and then you know what happens after. 
But yeah, guys, leave your comments and let me know what y'all think about this. I know I want to talk about Meg the Stallion basically exposing a friend who switched up on her after she got shot. And to me, that's kind of like a blessing in disguise because if you have a friend, right, and something as big as you getting shot happens to you and then that friend does switch up on you, then that wasn't a friend in the first place. I'm going to play what Meg the Stallion have to say. So check this out, guys. Like, really crazy. I felt like, why did I get shot? Like, what did I do? It was insane. The shit was crazy. And I feel like some people think that it's funny. And I feel like some people think that it's a joke. And I feel like some people think that they're saying it to get to me. But I'm, I'm not ashamed of who I am and I'm not ashamed of what I've been through. And I'm not scared to say anything about anything. Um, it's not fun, bitch. What, I don't understand. Like, I just felt very betrayed by a friend. I felt very betrayed by all my friends. Um... All right, so Meg Thee Stallion is also talking about persons making fun of her situation. I mean, even though it's gone maybe like over a month now, that shit is definitely traumatizing. And I'm pretty sure that she still feels not scared because she said it, that she's not scared to talk about anything, but she might have like flashes and stuff like that. Um, Yeah, but I'm just happy that she's okay. You know, she's speaking out. I'm not sure what's happening with Tory Lanez. I heard that he might be getting deported back to Canada. Um, yeah, so we'll just have to wait and see what happens. If there's any news or if there's any truth towards that situation about Tory Lanez, you know, getting deported and stuff, I'll definitely do a video on it and let y'all know. But anyway, guys, leave your comments and let me know what y'all think about this. Also, subscribe to this channel if you have not yet subscribed and make sure you turn that bell on to get notified whenever I post new content. Anyway, guys, I'll see y'all in the next video. Peace. Oh, shit. It's so many questions in here. Oh, that's, that's a good one. Bitch. <laughs> Can you please tell me happy birthday? Happy birthday to be hot girl. Okay, this says... Is slash was college hard in your opinion? This is about to be my first year and I'm so nervous. Yes, college is hard. Hard as fuck. If you... Did not go to college on your own terms, and your fucking parents told you to go to college, you're gonna be fucking miserable. Like, okay, if you're not having a major that's what you wanna do, bitch, you're gonna wanna drop out ASAP. But when I got to college and I met all my friends and I started going to college for what I wanted to go to college for, college was so fun. College was a fucking breeze, okay? College is lit.